the person from another lob will take this round just in order to know whether you are a good fit for sap labs or not currently i am working as a software engineer at sap labs bangalore Hi and welcome back to Coding Ninjas, guys. I'm Kabir Singh and I'm here with another spectacular interview experience. So today we'll be talking to Abhijit and we'll see how was his experience when he was sitting for the interview at SAP Labs. And let's see how the interview went on and how many rounds were there. And we're going to brief out every round for you guys. So let's see and have fun knowing his interview experience. Hi, Abhijit. How are you doing? Hey, hi, Kabir. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So Abhijit, would you mind giving me a small introduction about yourself so that we can get to know about you a bit and then we can start with our interview experience? Okay. Yeah. So hello, everyone. This is Abhijit here. Currently, I'm working as a software engineer at SAP Labs Bangalore. And uh, here I'm working as a full stack developer from the last one year. That's great. So coming to your interview experience for SAP Labs, Abhijit, would you like to tell me how many rounds were actually there in your interview? There were total six rounds, including okay. one manager and one HR round. And uh -huh. the first one was an online assessment round followed by three technical rounds. Correct. Correct. Okay. So there were six rounds in total, which is a long process, I see. And let's finally start with one round each and brief out it for our students. So... What was the first round like? How was the first round for you? The first round was an online assessment round where we were given two algorithm problems. Mm -hmm. It was media, data structures and algorithm problems. And there okay. were some basic problems related to the language, programming language in which you are working. Okay. For me, it was Java. So there were mainly MCQs related to OOPS concept collections and those things. It was for one hour, 30 minutes, what okay. I remember. And we have to complete all the things and uh, yeah, we have to submit it. That's great. So talking about you, how did you find the difficulty? Was it easy, medium or hard for you? I would rate it between easy and medium. Yeah. Easy and medium, not bad. Okay. So moving forward to the second round, which was a technical round, like was it on video call or was it in person? Okay. So all the interview calls were happened on MS Teams uh -huh. and it was a video call because last year it was a virtual thing. Okay. And we have to share the screen. In the first round, what they basically focused where they have given the two DSA and algorithm problem. Okay. Again, I would rate between easy and medium. Uh -huh. What I remember the problem was with linked list and the another problem was based on array. Okay. And we have to solve these problems by sharing the screen. Correct. And they have code pad. We it was not supposed to solve it it on ID. You can you know write the code on notepad and you can just have a pseudo code walkthrough with the interviewer. Okay. So you don't yeah. have to actually run the code and show. You can just give them a basic overview of your. Yeah, answer. yeah. You can just have a dry run. You can just take an example and have the dry run and explain mm -hmm. your to them that's it correct okay so again it was an easy medium round for you so how long did it go for we have to solve the problem in 45 minutes okay ideally and in okay. the last 15 minutes they focused again on the programming languages and framework questions so for me correct. i was a developer uh -huh. so they have asked me questions related to code java and some questions related to the spring framework spring boot and yeah those things correct moving forward coming to the third round where again it was a technical round what was it like? Can you tell us? Yeah, the third round was taken by a senior engineer in my mm -hmm. case. And it was mainly based on the high level design and architecture of the project in which we are mm -hmm. working upon. Okay. They ask every component. They uh -huh. basically just want to check how depth you know your project in which you are working. Okay. So that was pretty much with the, the, the main focus was on this only. Yeah. Okay. Again, the difficulty, easy, medium or hard? Difficulty would, I would say medium. Medium. It was not easy, but not hard. Yeah, medium. Okay. And how long did the interview go for? It lasted for one hour. One hour. And in this, there were no problems to solve. It was more of uh, questions. Yeah. Asked. So initial 40 to 45 minutes, we had a deep dive discussion on the project architecture and the high level uh -huh. design. Like what components we have used, why we have used, what Correct. are the pros and cons of having those components? Why can't we use, you know, some other alternative? In the last 15 minutes, he has given me a question on binary tree. Okay. I remember the exact traversal of a binary tree. Mm -hmm. So that I would rate as a medium category. So, okay. yeah, I mean, there was nothing as such out of box DSA question. Those okay. questions are pretty famous and they are present on lead code. So, yeah. Correct. Okay. Moving forward to the fourth question. Again, a technical round. What was that in this round then? This round is something I found different in SAP Labs because this uh -huh. is a cross culture. So let's say if you are getting hired for one of the LOB, mm -hmm. the person from another LOB will take this round just in order to know whether you are a good fit for SAP Labs or not. Or let's oh. say you're supposed to work in some other LOB. Different LOB again is what? That's line of business. Okay. So 
I am here working as an SAP in SAP Conquer. We also have SAP Ariba. Let's say I go, got a work to work for SAP Ariba. So someone uh-huh. from there will come and he will judge me whether I am a okay. good fit. So this round basically has all the things. I would say it's a mixture round. They have asked mm-hmm. me concept related to Java, Spring, Spring Boot. One DSA question again was asked to me, which okay. was based on English and mm-hmm. system design was not that much emphasized in this particular round. Yeah. Okay. Hi there. Before we proceed further in the video, I would like to inform you that Coding Ninjas has come up with a scholarship test called CNSAT. If you participate in this test, you can avail up to hundred percent scholarship on any course at Coding Ninjas. It can be DSA. web development product company interview preparation and even data science and many more courses so if you want to participate click on the link in the description below all the pin comment and participate now happy learning guys so again what would be the difficulty of this round and how long did it go for it was medium and it lasted for 1 hour 15 minutes okay so after every round that you used to give was a feeling always there ki yaar i cracked this one also was this always yeah, there or yeah. you had doubts see so for this particular sap interview experience journey things were pretty much in my hand it was going mm-hmm. good and i have given my best and what i feel 90% accuracy was there in each and every round 10% obviously no one is perfect so right. yeah but 90% was there so yeah i have a gut feeling that everything is going on right track oh okay so now moving on to the managerial round what was there in that managerial round is i won't emphasize much on that because it is the same like we have in other organizations okay. same behavior same situational okay. based questions like okay. what will you do in that question what will you do okay so if i talk about the managerial round so you said there was a managerial round and the last was the hr round what was the difference in both these rounds yeah so for me hr was also a little bit managerial okay. because i thought usually in hr discussion we had a salary discussion and compensation but he also asked me some questions like why you want to join sap labs you know okay. i was a backend developer but i was getting the profile of full stack developer so how okay. i fit myself as a full stack developer so hr was also asking all these questions but again i would say the main round are the first online assessment followed by three technical round managerial okay. if you are good enough if you know how to handle the situations and scenarios that would be a cake walk correct 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 okay so again managerial round how much would you rate it easy medium or hard for you between easy and medium and the uh, hr round considering an hr round it would be medium <laughs> okay it wasn't easy for you because yeah not. agreed because if you go to an hr round you have this mindset that okay we're going to discuss about the salary compensation and okay tata yeah but then uh, yeah. if if you suddenly get you know it was a surprising element for me <laughs> right so that's a little tough agreed agreed okay so finally concluding this interview with a last question abhijit all i want to ask is basically what would you suggest or what would you recommend your juniors watching this video to be doing or any tips or tricks which you would like to tell them to crack companies like sap labs you know or any mistakes that you did in your interview or your preparation which you don't want others to repeat what would be your suggestion the very first thing i would ask everyone is to be consistent with the preparation many mm-hmm. people are not consistent what i have seen with many of my colleagues and friends is that they start preparing they start lead coding but after a month after two weeks they just give up so right. all we have to do is to we have to make two questions each and every day we have to be consistent for the last 5 to 6 months minimum i would say to you know build a strong grip on you know concepts and coding and all those things so consistency is very important never lose hope be optimistic and during the interview don't feel the pressure i myself in some of the interviews i felt nervous and i didn't gave my best so you do, don't have to be nervous even if you don't crack it it will be a gaining experience for you hmm, so correct. you know be good with data structures and algorithm for product based companies focus on system design if you are having more than 5 years of experience and uh, mm-hmm. yeah be confident that's it that's great that's great i really thank you so much abhijit for giving us insights of these interviews and you know telling us how to actually have a good consistency level out there i really thank you for helping us with the interview experience and i hope people watching this may get it in handy guys also if you want to read this interview experience completely i'll be mentioning a link in the description below where an abhijit himself has written an article on the website so you can go and check it out and also don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button for the channel thank you so much for watching thank you so much abhijit for coming up i hope to shoot another video with you pretty soon see you in the next one guys happy coding thank you so much kabir all the best thank guys thank you so much happy coding guys hi there we hope you liked the video and had fun learning i would like to inform you that coding ninjas has come up with a scholarship test called cnsat 
If you participate in this test, you can get up to 100% scholarship on any course at Coding Ninjas. It can be DSA, web development, product companies, interview preparation, and even data science and many more courses. So if you want to avail this opportunity, click on the link in the description below or the pinned comment and participate in the test now. Happy learning, guys.